Butter, Wikipedia article audio. Butter is a dairy product containing up to 80% butter fat which is solid when chilled and at room temperature in some regions and liquid when warmed. It is made by churning fresh or fermented cream or milk to separate the butter fat from the buttermilk. It is generally used as a spread on plain or toasted bread products and a condiment on cooked vegetables, as well as in cooking, such as baking, sauce making, and pan frying. Butter consists of butter fat, milk proteins, and water, and in some types, added salt. Butter may also be sold with added flavorings, such as garlic butter. Most frequently made from cow's milk, butter can also be manufactured from the milk of other mammals, including sheep, goats, buffalo, and yaks. Salt such as dairy salt, flavorings, and preservatives are sometimes added to butter. Rendering butter produces clarified butter or ghee, which is almost entirely butter fat. Etymology Production Butter is a water in oil emulsion resulting from an inversion of the cream. In a water in oil emulsion, the milk proteins are the emulsifiers. Butter remains a solid when refrigerated, but softens to a spreadable consistency at room temperature, and melts to a thin liquid consistency at 3 to a euro 35 a degree C. The density of butter is 911 g slash L. It generally has a pale yellow color, but varies from deep yellow to nearly white. Its unmodified color is dependent on the animal's feed and genetics but is commonly manipulated with food colorings in the commercial manufacturing process, most commonly annatto or carotene. The word butter derives from the Latin buterum, which is the Latinization of the Greek I superscript 2 II. II. I I I one half. This may have been a construction meaning cow cheese, from I superscript to I A I, ox, cow plus I I, I I O E I, cheese. Nevertheless, the earliest attested form of the second stem, turos, is the Mycenaean Greek to R O, written in linear B syllabic script as euro euro. The root word persists in the name butyric acid, a compound found in rancid butter and dairy products such as Parmesan cheese. In general use, the term butter refers to the spread dairy product when unqualified by other descriptors. The word commonly is used to describe pour a copyright ed vegetable or seed and nut products such as peanut butter and almond butter. It is often applied to spread fruit products such as apple butter. Fats such as cocoa butter and shea butter that remain solid at room temperature are also known as butters. In addition to the act of applying butter being called to butter, non-dairy items that have a dairy butter consistency may use butter to call that consistency to mind including food items such as maple butter and witch's butter and non-food items such as baby bottom butter, hyena butter, and rock butter. Unhomogenized milk and cream contain butter fat in microscopic globules. These globules are surrounded by membranes made of phospholipids and proteins, which prevent the fat in milk from pooling together into a single mass. Butter is produced by agitating cream, which damages these membranes and allows the milk fats to conjoin, separating from the other parts of the cream. Variations in the production method will create butters with different consistencies, mostly due to the butter fat composition in the finished product. Butter contains fat in three separate forms, free butter fat butter fat crystals, and undamaged fat globules. In the finished product, different proportions of these forms result in different consistencies within the butter. Butters with many crystals are harder than butters dominated by free fats. Churning produces small butter grains floating in the water-based portion of the cream. 
This watery liquid is called buttermilk a euro although the buttermilk most common today is instead a directly fermented skimmed milk. The buttermilk is drained off, sometimes more buttermilk is removed by rinsing the grains with water. Then the grains are worked, pressed and kneaded together. When prepared manually, this is done using wooden boards called scotch hands. This consolidates the butter into a solid mass and breaks up embedded pockets of buttermilk or water into tiny droplets. Types Commercial butter is about 80% butter fat and 15% water, traditionally made butter may have as little as 65% fat and 30% water. Butter fat is a mixture of triglyceride, a triester derived from glycerol and three of any of several fatty acid groups. Butter becomes rancid when these chains break down into smaller components, like butyric acid and diacetyl. The density of butter is 0.911 g/cm3, about the same as ice. In some countries, butter is given a grade before commercial distribution. Whey butter Before modern factory butter making, cream was usually collected from several milkings and was therefore several days old and somewhat fermented by the time it was made into butter. Butter made from a fermented cream is known as cultured butter. During fermentation, the cream naturally sours as bacteria convert milk sugars into lactic acid. The fermentation process produces additional aroma compounds, including diacetyl, which makes for a fuller flavored and more buttery tasting product. Today, cultured butter is usually made from pasteurized cream whose fermentation is produced by the introduction of lactococcus and leuconostoc bacteria. Another method for producing cultured butter developed in the early 1970s, is to produce butter from fresh cream and then incorporate bacterial cultures and lactic acid. Using this method, the cultured butter flavor grows as the butter is aged in cold storage. For manufacturers, this method is more efficient, since aging the cream used to make butter takes significantly more space than simply storing the finished butter product. A method to make an artificial simulation of cultured butter is to add lactic acid and flavor compounds directly to the fresh cream butter, while this more efficient process is claimed to simulate the taste of cultured butter, the product produced is not cultured but is instead flavored. Dairy products are often pasteurized during production to kill pathogenic bacteria and other microbes. Butter made from pasteurized fresh cream is called sweet cream butter. Production of sweet cream butter first became common in the 19th century, with the development of refrigeration and the mechanical cream separator. Butter made from fresh or cultured unpasteurized cream is called raw cream butter. While butter made from pasteurized cream may keep for several months, Raw cream butter has a shelf life of roughly 10 days. European Butters Throughout continental Europe, cultured butter is preferred, while sweet cream butter dominates in the United States and the United Kingdom. Cultured butter is sometimes labeled European-style butter in the United States, although cultured butter is made and sold by some, especially Amish dairies. Commercial raw cream butter is virtually unheard of in the United States. Raw cream butter is generally only found made at home by consumers who have purchased raw whole milk directly from dairy farmers, schemed the cream themselves, and made butter with it. It is rare in Europe as well. History Several spreadable butters have been developed. These remain softer at colder temperatures and are therefore easier to use directly out of refrigeration. Some methods modify the makeup of the butter's fat through chemical manipulation of the finished product, 
some manipulate the cattle's feed, and some incorporate vegetable oil into the butter. Whipped butter, another product designed to be more spreadable, is aerated by incorporating nitrogen gas a euro normal air is not used to avoid oxidation and rancidity. Middle Ages All categories of butter are sold in both salted and unsalted forms. Either granular salt or a strong brine are added to salted butter during processing. In addition to enhanced flavor, the addition of salt acts as a preservative. The amount of butter fat in the finished product is a vital aspect of production. In the United States, products sold as butter must contain at least 80% butter fat. In practice, most American butters contain slightly more than that, averaging around 81% butter fat. European butters generally have a higher ratio euro up to 85%. Clarified butter is butter with almost all of its water and milk solids removed, leaving almost pure butter fat. Clarified butter is made by heating butter to its melting point and then allowing it to cool. After settling, the remaining components separate by density. At the top, whey proteins form a skin, which is removed. The resulting butter fat is then poured off from the mixture of water and casein proteins that settle to the bottom. Industrialization Ghee is clarified butter that has been heated to around 128 degrees C after the water evaporated turning the milk solids brown. This process flavors the ghee, and also produces antioxidants that help protect it from rancidity. Because of this, ghee can keep for 6 to 8 months under normal conditions. Cream may be separated from whey instead of milk, as a byproduct of cheese making. Whey butter may be made from whey cream. Whey cream and butter have a lower fat content and taste more salty, tangy, and cheesy. They are also cheaper than sweet cream and butter. The fat content of whey is low, so 1,000 pounds of whey will typically give 3 pounds of butter. There are several butters produced in Europe with protected geographical indications, these include the earliest butter would have been from sheep or goat's milk, cattle are not thought to have been domesticated for another thousand years. An ancient method of butter making, still used today in parts of Africa and the Near East, involves a goatskin half filled with milk, and inflated with air before being sealed. The skin is then hung with ropes on a tripod of sticks, and rocked until the movement leads to the formation of butter. In the Mediterranean climate, unclarified butter spoils quickly a euro unlike cheese, it is not a practical method of preserving the nutrients of milk. The ancient Greeks and Romans seemed to have considered butter a food fit more for the northern barbarians. A play by the Greek comic poet Anaxandrides refers to Thracians as Botyrophagoi, butter eaters. In his natural history, Pliny the Elder calls butter the most delicate of food among barbarous nations, and goes on to describe its medicinal properties. Later, the physician Galen also described butter as a medicinal agent only. Size and Shape of Packaging Historian and linguist Andrew Dalby says most references to butter in ancient Near Eastern texts should more correctly be translated as ghee. Ghee is mentioned in the Periplus of the Erythrian Sea as a typical trade article around the 1st century CE Arabian Sea, and Roman geographer Strabo describes it as a commodity of Arabia and Sudan. In India, Ghee has been a symbol of purity and an offering to the gods a euro especially Agni, the Hindu god of fire a euro for more than 3,000 years. References to Ghee's sacred nature appear numerous times in the Rigveda, circa 1500 a euro 1200 BCE. 
The tale of the child Krishna stealing butter remains a popular children's story in India today. Since India's prehistory, ghee has been both a staple food and used for ceremonial purposes, such as fueling holy lamps and funeral pyres. Worldwide In the cooler climates of Northern Europe, people could store butter longer before it spoiled. Scandinavia has the oldest tradition in Europe of butter export trade, dating at least to the 12th century. After the fall of Rome and through much of the Middle Ages, butter was a common food across most of European Euro but had a low reputation, and so was consumed principally by peasants. Butter slowly became more accepted by the upper class, notably when the early 16th century Roman Catholic Church allowed its consumption during Lent. Bread and butter became common fare among the middle class, and the English, in particular, gained a reputation for their liberal use of melted butter as a sauce with meat and vegetables. Bar d'Ardenne, from Belgium, Bar d'Isigny, from France, Bar Charance Poitou, from France, Bar Rose, from Luxembourg, Mantquilla de Soria, from Spain, Mantega de l'Alt Urgel i la Cerdanya, from Spain. In antiquity, butter was used for fuel in lamps as a substitute for oil. The butter tower of Rouen Cathedral was erected in the early 16th century when Archbishop Georges d'Amboise authorized the burning of butter instead of oil, which was scarce at the time, during Lent. Across Northern Europe, butter was sometimes treated in a manner unheard of today, it was packed into barrels and buried in peat bogs perhaps for years. Such bog butter would develop a strong flavor as it aged, but remain edible, in large part because of the unique cool, airless, antiseptic and acidic environment of a peat bog. Firkins of such buried butter are a common archaeological find in Ireland, the National Museum of Ireland A Euro Archaeology has some containing a grayish cheese-like substance, partially hardened, not much like butter, and quite free from putrefaction. The practice was most common in Ireland in the 1-1-th-a Euro 14th centuries, it ended entirely before the 19th century. The dominant shape east of the Rocky Mountains is the Elgin, or Eastern Pack Shape, named for a dairy in Elgin, Illinois. The sticks are 120 mm long and 30 mm wide and are typically sold stacked 2 by 2 in elongated cube-shaped boxes. Like Ireland, France became well known for its butter, particularly in Normandy and Brittany. By the 1860s, butter had become so in demand in France that Emperor Napoleon III offered prize money for an inexpensive substitute to supplement France's inadequate butter supplies. A French chemist claimed the prize with the invention of margarine in 1869. The first margarine was beef tallow flavored with milk and worked like butter. Vegetable margarine followed after the development of hydrogenated oils around 1900. Storage and Cooking Nutritional Information Until the 19th century, the vast majority of butter was made by hand, on farms. The first butter factories appeared in the United States in the early 1860s, after the successful introduction of cheese factories a decade earlier. In the late 1870s, the centrifugal cream separator was introduced, marketed most successfully by Swedish engineer Carl Gustav Patrick de Laval. This dramatically sped up the buttermaking process by eliminating the slow step of letting cream naturally rise to the top of milk. Initially, Whole milk was shipped to the butter factories, and the cream separation took place there. Soon, though, 
cream separation technology became small and inexpensive enough to introduce an additional efficiency, the separation was accomplished on the farm, and the cream alone shipped to the factory. By 1900, more than half the butter produced in the United States was factory made, Europe followed suit shortly after. In 1920, Otto Hunziker authored The Butter Industry, Prepared for Factory, School and Laboratory, a well-known text in the industry that enjoyed at least three editions. As part of the efforts of the American Dairy Science Association, Professor Hunziker and others published articles regarding causes of tallowiness, models, introduced salts, the impact of creamery metals and liquids, and acidity measurement. These and other ADSA publications help standardize practices internationally. Butter also provided extra income to farm families. They used wood presses with carved decoration to press butter into pucks or small bricks to sell at nearby markets or general stores. The decoration identified the farm that produced the butter. This practice continued until production was mechanized and butter was produced in less decorative stick form. Today, butter presses remain in use for decorative purposes. Per capita butter consumption declined in most Western nations during the 20th century, in large part because of the rising popularity of margarine, which is less expensive and, until recent years, was perceived as being healthier. In the United States, margarine consumption overtook butter during the 1950s, and it is still the case today that more margarine than butter is eaten in the US and the EU. In the United States, butter has traditionally been made into small, rectangular blocks by means of a pair of wooden butter paddles. In the United States, Butter is usually produced in 4 ounces sticks, wrapped in waxed or foiled paper and sold 4 to a 1 pound package. This practice is believed to have originated in 1907, when Swift and Company began packaging butter in this manner for mass distribution. Due to historical differences in butter printers, these sticks are commonly produced in two different shapes. Both sticks contain the same amount of butter, although most butter dishes are designed for Elgin-style butter sticks. The sticks wrapper is usually marked off as 8 tablespoons, the actual volume of one stick is approximately 9 tablespoons. In the United States, unsalted or sweet butter typically has red printing on the wrapper, while salted butter typically has blue printing on the wrapper. Outside of the United States, butter is packaged and sold by mass only, not by volume nor by unit, but the package shape remains approximately the same. The wrapper is usually a foil and waxed paper laminate. In the remainder of the world, butter is packed and sold in 250 grams and 500 grams packs and measured for cooking in grams. Butter for commercial and industrial use is packaged in plastic buckets, tubs, or drums, in quantities and units suited to the local market. In 1997, India produced 1,470,000 metric tons of butter, most of which was consumed domestically. Second in production was the United States, followed by France, Germany, and New Zealand. France ranks first in per capita butter consumption with 8 kg per capita per year. In terms of absolute consumption, Germany was second after India, using 578,000 metric tons of butter in 1997, followed by France, Russia and the United States. New Zealand, Australia and the Ukraine are among the few nations that export a significant percentage of the butter they produce. Different varieties are found around the world. 
Sman is a spiced Moroccan clarified butter, buried in the ground and aged for months or years. A similar product is Maltash of the Hunza Valley, where cow and yak butter can be buried for decades, and is used at events such as weddings. Yak butter is a specialty in Tibet, Sampa, barley flour mixed with yak butter, is a staple food. Butter tea is consumed in the Himalayan regions of Tibet, Bhutan, Nepal, and India. It consists of tea served with intensely flavored a euro or rancid a euro yak butter and salt. In African and Asian developing nations, butter is traditionally made from sour milk rather than cream. It can take several hours of churning to produce workable butter grains from fermented milk. Normal butter softens to a spreadable consistency around 15 A degrees C, well above refrigerator temperatures. The butter compartment found in many refrigerators may be one of the warmer sections inside, but it still leaves butter quite hard. Until recently, many refrigerators sold in New Zealand featured a butter conditioner, a compartment kept warmer than the rest of the refrigerator a euro but still cooler than room temperature a euro with a small heater. Keeping butter tightly wrapped delays rancidity, which is hastened by exposure to light or air, and also helps prevent it from picking up other odors. Wrapped butter has a shelf life of several months at refrigerator temperatures. Butter can also be frozen to further extend its storage life. French butter dishes or Acadian butter dishes have a lid with a long interior lip, which sits in a container holding a small amount of water. Usually the dish holds just enough water to submerge the interior lip when the dish is closed. Butter is packed into the lid. The water acts as a seal to keep the butter fresh and also keeps the butter from overheating in hot temperatures. This method lets butter sit on a countertop for several days without spoiling. Once butter is softened, spices, herbs, or other flavoring agents can be mixed into it, producing what is called a compound butter or composite butter. Compound butters can be used as spreads, or cooled, sliced and placed onto hot food to melt into a sauce. Sweetened compound butters can be served with desserts, such hard sauces are often flavored with spirits. Melted butter plays an important role in the preparation of sauces, most obviously in French cuisine. Bournoisette and Bournoir are sauces of melted butter cooked until the milk solids and sugars have turned golden or dark brown. They are often finished with an addition of vinegar or lemon juice. Hollandaise and B.A. Copyright Arnais sauces are emulsions of egg yolk and melted butter, they are in essence mayonnaises made with butter instead of oil. Hollandaise and B.A. Copyright Arnais sauces are stabilized with the powerful emulsifiers in the egg yolks, but butter itself contains enough emulsifiers a euro mostly remnants of the fat globule membranes a euro to form a stable emulsion on its own. Bar Blanc is made by whisking butter into reduced vinegar or wine, forming an emulsion with the texture of thick cream. Bar Monta copyright is melted but still emulsified butter, it lends its name to the practice of mounting a sauce with butter whisking cold butter into any water-based sauce at the end of cooking, giving the sauce a thicker body and a glossy shiny a euro as well as a buttery taste. In Poland, the butter lamb is a traditional addition to the Easter meal for many Polish Catholics. Butter is shaped into a lamb either by hand or in a lamb-shaped mold. Butter is also used to make edible decorations to garnish other dishes. Butter is used for soda copywriting and frying, although its milk solids brown and burn above 150 A degree C a euro or rather low temperature for most applications. The smoke point of butter fat is around 200 A degree C, 
so clarified butter or ghee is better suited to frying. Ghee has always been a common frying medium in India, where many avoid other animal fats for cultural or religious reasons. Butter fills several roles in baking, where it is used in a similar manner as other solid fats like lard, suet, or shortening, but has a flavor that may better complement sweet baked goods. Many cookie doughs and some cake batters are leavened, at least in part, by creaming butter and sugar together, which introduces air bubbles into the butter. The tiny bubbles locked within the butter expand in the heat of baking and aerate the cookie or cake. Some cookies like shortbread may have no other source of moisture but the water in the butter. Pastries like pie dough incorporate pieces of solid fat into the dough, which become flat layers of fat when the dough is rolled out. During baking, the fat melts away, leaving a flaky texture. Butter, because of its flavor, is a common choice for the fat in such a dough, but it can be more difficult to work with than shortening because of its low melting point. Pastry makers often chill all their ingredients and utensils while working with a butter dough. As butter is essentially just the milk fat, it contains only traces of lactose, so moderate consumption of butter is not a problem for lactose intolerant people. People with milk allergies may still need to avoid butter, which contains enough of the allergy causing proteins to cause reactions. Whole milk, butter, and cream have high levels of saturated fat. Butter is a good source of vitamin A. The molecular composition of butter which contribute to butter's distinct flavor includes, fatty acids, lactones, methyl ketones, diacetyl, and dimethyl sulfide. When foods containing butter are baked, the concentrations of methyl ketones and lactones increase to provide the flavor of butter.